Good morning, Children's Church. Good morning to everyone at home. Thank you so much for joining us for another week of Children's Online Service. Thank you to anyone who's joining us for the very first time. Warm welcome to you. I hope you're all well and you've all had great weeks and you're all ready and prepared to learn something more about Jesus this Sunday. So now let's just go into a time of praise and worship. So please stand up, get involved and give your all as we praise and honour our God.
It's offering time. Now it's time for this week's lesson. Hey kids, have you ever really, really wanted something? Maybe you wanted to ride a fun roller coaster, but you were barely just too small. Maybe you wanted to carry groceries in, but you dropped a whole bag of stuff because you weren't strong enough. Well, in today's lesson, we're going to learn about a lady named Hannah. She wanted something really, really bad, but she couldn't get it on her own. Hannah could not have children, and people made fun of her for it. But Hannah was married to a guy named Elkanah, and Elkanah had another wife named Panina. That sounds pretty weird, but it was pretty common in the Old Testament days. Anyway, Panina had two sons. She made fun of Hannah because she didn't have any sons. And that made Hannah really sad and really desperate for a son. Hannah promised that if she had a son, she would give him back to God. One day, Hannah went to the temple to pray. She prayed really, really hard and told God that if she had a son, she would give him right back to God. That just meant that when he was old enough, she would send him to live in the temple so that he could learn about God and follow God and work in the temple. God answered her prayer and Hannah kept her promise. Eventually, Hannah got pregnant and had a son and named him Samuel. Once he was four, she took him back to the temple and left him there with Eli the priest. The priests were the dudes that were in charge of the temple. It was probably hard for her to leave her son, but she had to keep her promise to God. So kids, what's the lesson we can learn from this story? There are some things in life that only God can give us. Kids, there are some things in life that only God can provide. Memory verse! God lifts the poor from the dust and the needy from the garbage dump. Maybe you're really desperate for something in your life, like Hannah. Maybe it's hoping your dad can get a new job, or hoping a sick family member would get feeling better. Kids, for the things that we can't do on our own, we can pray to God that he will do them for us. Now that doesn't mean that God will give us everything, but if he thinks it's best for us, then he will. So kids, next time you are too short for a roller coaster, or not strong enough to carry groceries, think of this lesson. And remember, there are some things that only God can Prayers are powerful. We learn from the story of Hannah praying for her son that prayers can do the impossible. God hears and he answers our prayers. Hannah not only just prayed for her son, but she promised that she would give her son back to him, back to God. And that's exactly what she did. She kept to her word and in her prayer, she centered her prayer around God. She wasn't selfish, thinking about herself, but in her prayer, she honored God and she worshiped God. And that's something that we must do as well. Now it's time for this week's new memory verse and it's taken from James chapter 5 verse 16 and it reads when a good man prays great things happen So now we have a little challenge for you.
can you find all these words scrambled within the word search within two minutes see how many you can find if you'd like you can pause the video and have a look to see if you can find all these words scrambled within the word search Well done to you and to everyone at home who took part in that activity and was able to find some words. All those words were related to the story of Hannah praying for her son. I hope you enjoyed that and I hope that got your brain thinking and your brain active this morning. So now it's time for us to share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. And surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. That's the end of the service. See you next Sunday.